Hello friend, this is Ryan Hicks of TalkToProfit.com. Today I want to talk to you about a secret about business that will revolutionize your life if you will heed it. Many people think, well, I'm just starting out so I can't compete with these big companies and they think about these big companies as just being able to extinguish anything they are starting to do. But here's the fatal flaw in that thinking. These big companies, they are not operating at the most efficient and peak levels. Most of them have tons of inefficiencies and many things they do are quite frankly dumb. They don't have everything figured out. And it seems like the larger a company gets if they are not in the state of constantly tweaking and perfecting the things they're doing, they get more into ruts, ruts that are bad, ruts that maybe worked last year, but now are leading to failure. So where you see, oh, these companies will just kill me if I come out to the market with something similar. No, you do stuff better than they do, which is very easy because many of them are so lazy and they have companies full of people who are afraid to even dare challenge the traditions they have set up. And these companies don't have to be old to have traditions set up and just doing things a certain way never questioning it, never thinking about it. There are people that on their staff that know this is not the right way to do it. They know there's a better way, but they don't say anything about it. Or they do and they've been shot down by their management above them because this is the way we do things here. You don't like it, go somewhere else. And so where you're thinking these companies are impenetrable and their domination of the market is just so settled and it's settled law, it's not the case. If you provide a better service or better product than they do and actually use the product, that's important. A lot of these companies don't even use their own products. That's why they have stagnation in their products. And they don't understand what the customers are looking for because they don't even use them. Some of them don't use their products because they like other products. So they literally think other companies' products are better than theirs, but they don't do any innovation to actually incorporate some better ideas into their own product. You may think that you're at a limitation or in hindrance because you're new or because you're small. That's not the case. You have the great advantage of being agile and being able to move and maneuver quickly. Where these companies have dozens of rings of management and people over this person, that person make a decision, and this committee over here, and things get nowhere where you can just make the decision right here and now, I'm gonna do this this way. If that's the best thing for your customer, you don't have to get a bunch of approvals from all kinds of management where somewhere down the line, somebody's gonna say no because they're afraid because it's different than what they're doing. And they don't wanna change anything because then it'll be blamed on them if that change leads to a failure or if that change could be blamed for the failure. So I want to encourage you, don't get disheartened because you see these big companies that have seemingly un unlimited amount of money and they just hap happen to be better than you. There's no way you could possibly overtake them. The first thing that's most important is you don't have to even look at competition. You just provide the best product and service that does the things the customers that are using that kind of a product or service actually need, get it to the market at the lowest price, you will find success. These companies, you see them come and go. There have been all kinds of social media companies that have come and gone. And you will see this in the future. Some of these big, huge, massive social media companies will go away or they'll be morphed into some other company. Where's Periscope? Where is Friendster? Where's MySpace? Many of these companies will come and go because they're not adapting. They're not advancing. Now that's just social media, but this applies to all business. You look at businesses that have been around for a long time, many of them are stagnating. The only way they even get any new growth is by acquiring new companies. But it's not by their own doing, it's not by their own growth internally in their company. Now that is a way you can grow yourself. You can find a company somewhere that's doing poorly and there are a bunch of them out there. You have companies that will just have two business partners who don't like each other anymore and they've run their business into the ground and it's a great business. 
But because those two can't get along, they make the business go down the tubes. And they might be willing to sell it to you for very low, maybe nothing. You just pay them out of the profits. Because they just want to get rid of it and get away from each other. There are more of those kind of things than you would think out in the marketplace right now. You could find a business to take over if you want. You don't even have to start out and do it all on your own. In many cases, that is the best way to do it, is just go find a company that is struggling, not doing well, that you can see just walking into and observing and seeing what's going on, that there's only a few little changes here and there need to be made to make this customer oriented, to make this a place where people would want to work, to make this a place where people would be successful and that you could grow into a great, massive success. So don't think small. Don't think that you're too small, that you can't compete. You shouldn't even be entering the market with the thought of competition. You should be thinking about how can I provide the best value for my customers? How can I provide the best service? How can I provide the best product? And actually implement the ideas and what your customers want in the products. Now, I'm not talking about you ask one person, but if you use a certain product or a certain service and you see things in it that you wish were changed, you wish were different, can you make something similar that would implement those changes that other people have mentioned to you in the past? It'd be great if it did this. It'd be great if it had this. But this isn't just some idea in your mind, but other people are having the same idea. And the company doesn't care at all about doing it and implementing it. They're just stuck in their ways. There are ways for you to become the best in the market, even outshining companies that are massive. So don't get down yourself. Don't limit yourself by saying, well, I'm just small. You know, it's one of these things I see sometimes where I'll buy something from somebody on eBay or something, and they'll send a little card saying, thank you for supporting my small business. Don't be like that. Now that's nice, the card's fine, everything's like that's fine, but don't call yourself a small business. You could say the same thing, thank you for supporting my business. That's fine. But when you say small, you just limit yourself. You just immediately compress yourself down into this little bubble and that's all you can be. But you can be whatever you wanna be. You can believe and have whatever you wanna have. So don't limit yourself. Don't think that that big, huge, giant company is beyond your capability of outshining them. It's not the case. There are so many opportunities available to you today if you will take them. Don't limit yourself. Don't talk about how small you are. Don't talk about how little money you have. Just get out there and do it. Be nimble. Be resourceful. You don't need a bunch of money to do it. Get out there and do it and accomplish great things and watch as you become a mighty success. My friend, I praise as a blessing for you. May God bless you richly.